Hello YouTube and welcome to another Wireshark tutorial. So in this video I will show you how easy it is to extract the file that was transferred using plain FTP. So are you ready? Let's get started. So here I'm gonna actually connect to an FTP server. It's actually hosted on my Linux uh, box or server which has, as you can see here, as an IP address 192.168.1.78 and here we'll be using plain FTP which is insecure and we'll be using as a user amino and a password, okay? So before I'm gonna connect to this FTP server, I'm gonna show you the file that I want to transfer which is actually just a logo here so this is Arch Linux logo. So I'll be using here as an example file to transfer. So we can try to extract it or to reassemble it after it has been transferred to our FTP server, okay? So let's launch first of all Wireshark. So as I told you on my last video, make sure to capture on the network card that has an activity so mine is called Ethernet so I will double click on it so Wireshark began to capture packets on your system so let's get connected to our uh, FTP server here so I'm gonna connect okay I'm gonna here go to the directory data and let's try actually to transfer this logo.png file here we go so we'll be overwriting the file that has existed in my FTP so here you can see that we have actually successfully transferred our logo.png file okay so let me stop the capture of my Wireshark and now let's try to reconstruct or extract the file that I have actually transferred so here you can see a bunch of packets some are related to the FTP some are not because I have a system that is running so I'm gonna here filter just for the FTP protocol here we go so here you can see the IP address on my FTP which is that one that's 78 and it's here talking to my client which is this machine which has an IP address that 1.15 okay so here the FTP server has responded so here you can see the system or the FTP daemon that is installed on the Linux server which is very secure FTP daemon version 3.0.3 okay so here you can see in the second packet that the client actually requests user amina in order to, con to log on to the FTP server so the FTP server responded with please specify the password and here the client also requests a password and here you can see the clear text password which is Q102 so that's one reason not to use plain FTP because if you have Wireshark or network analyzer in your network it can capture password in plain text so here you can see in plain text our password okay so after that the FTP server responded with logon successful and so on so we get connected to the current directory and so on so actually we can capture the whole conversation between the FTP server and the clients so we click on any packet here for the FTP protocol right click on it you go to follow and here you choose TCP stream so here you can see the whole conversation between our client and server so in the blue color are the responses of our FTP server and the red one is actually the request from our client and here you can see clearly the user 
that we have used in order to connect to our FTP which is Amina and also the password which is Q102 okay but our mission here is to capture actually the file logo.png that was transferred so how can we do that so using just this capture we can this time filter using FTP data okay and here you can see clearly the file that was transferred which is logo.png okay so and here you can see the how many bytes that was transferred into our FTP server so here you can see the source which is our client and the destination which is our server so just using this information we can actually reassemble the file that was transferred so in order to do that it's pretty easy you click on any packets here you go to the same menu follow and TCP stream so now as you can see here we have actually another window which shows data as ASCII and here in the first bytes you can see the signature dot capital PNG which is actually we can see clearly that is an image file dot PNG okay but here it's an ASCII file so we have actually to convert it in the raw data in order to save it so here just in the middle of this window show data as ASCII by default so I'm gonna choose a row so now we have a bunch of hexadecimal values okay so all we have to do now is to click on this button here save as and another window appears so we are gonna save our file to desktop so we can name it whatever we want so let's call it transferred file transferred file dot png so make sure to make the right extension for our file I'm gonna save here we go and now let's go to our desktop here we go so you can see here the file transfer.png that has been saved to our desktop and if we open it it's the same file that we have transferred over our network to our FTP server so that is why you should never use plain FTP in your network because anyone anyone with the Wireshark can capture all the packets can capture your username can capture the password and can even extract the file that was transferred or reassemble it in order to get back the data that we that was transferred so that was just a quick video that shows you how to reassemble a file that was transferred via plain FTP as always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.